All right, we're back here. We've got the varsity boys set to do battle with the Greendale Panthers. Just about 10 minutes out from game time here. Should be a good one. Cut back over to it live here in a minute. back here with 7.13 on the clock. Counting down, it sounds like it's parents night here in Pewaukee. Celebrate the great parents of our Pewaukee varsity boys, which will be good. 6.55 on the clock. Greendale coming in, eight and four. One and three in the woodland. Pirates coming off a big week. Obviously the, um, you know, the win against Wisconsin Lutheran was huge. That's always the big game. Probably gonna play them three times total. Um, that is what we are looking at. Wolfer. figured out still working on getting our timing exactly correct 527 on the clock telling our audio people exactly how much time is on the clock so they can tell us if we're on time with what they're seeing it sounds like we had a little delay in the JV game trying to, to get that you know fixed up here
Now we're live. We're live now, yeah. Jeff, we're, uh, we're through with parents' night, and we're ready to go here. It looks like uh, four minutes on the clock. And we will uh, set sail on our maiden voyage of varsity basketball here. And I just want to say, uh, with parents' night, uh, as the athletic director here, I do want to thank all the parents out there. You know, it's a, it's a tremendous amount of time and, and effort that put, that's put in by the parents and... Uh, you know, none of these kids can be there where they are without their parents' help and guidance. And uh, so from the athletic department, big thank you to all the parents out there. Not to mention those endless car rides <laughs> <laughs> when they're in youth before they, uh, before they get their license. These, uh, just knowing some of these parents, they drive all over the state, the Midwest, and everywhere in between get these kids to their events. All right, just about three minutes and 10 seconds on the clock here. Like you said, Kurt, for those of us just joining us, this is our maiden voyage of broadcasting a live stream event for Pewaukee Athletics. We have the boys home tonight, the girls are off. So that, uh, that gives us the uh, expertise and, and guidance of uh, Mr. Kurt Spitzner with me here. Um, really looking forward to this. this is, I think this is going to be a great addition to Pewaukee Athletics. Happy to do it. And we did that JV game. That was a lot of fun. We'll do it live here with the, the varsity crew. One thing you know with these guys, they will they will put on a good show. They uh, kids play hard. Kids are uh, well coached. Two time defending state champions, looking for their third, and have kind of fallen into a groove now that they're getting you know Nick back in the swing of things. So Owen oh, Hake was back the other night, getting away from uh, some of the, the injuries that riddled the team early on in the season and starting to get comfortable with each other. I think this is going to be an entirely different team than what we saw earlier in the year. And at the same time, you had a lot of kids who got some extra experience and some court time, you know, to, uh, to get out there and, and have the ball in their hand and, and take some, some real meaningful minutes while... Uh, Guys like Nick and Owen were, yeah, we're, we're resting up here. Yeah, that's just it. This is uh, this is really only about the third game where we've had everybody healthy. That Wisconsin Lutheran game on January third. That was Nick Janowski's first game of the season. Um, Owen Hake, like you like you mentioned, is back. Nick Frank, uh, not quite back yet. Um, you know, during that time, we had uh, Osterman. Caden Osterman out with a concussion. He's back in the lineup. So, you know, really the season, even though we're about halfway through the season, this is really kind of the 
beginning part still for the Pirates, having that full lineup. Absolutely. Pirates are coming in ranked number one in Division Two. Uh, they are seven and two overall, three and one in the conference. Their lone loss coming to uh, Pius, and in that game we had six six players injured or sick, four including four starters. Greendale coming into this game eight and four. They are one and three in conference, tied for fifth place in the conference. So on paper it looks like it might be a little bit of a mismatch, but hey, high school athletics you can never you never know what you're going to get. And I'll tell you, that Pius game, is as injured as they were, they darn near pulled it off. It, was, it took a last-second shot by the by the Popes to do it. This no matter which five suit up, these guys are going to bring it. That is for sure. We actually have some students singing the school song right now, which as an athletic director <laughs> tickles the heart. Right. All right, here we go, getting ready for the starting lineups here. Jeff Behrens and Kurt Spitzner uh, here in Pewaukee are calling this uh, first uh, varsity game here on, on Pewaukee television. We're gonna cut to the uh, starting lineups here for the First for the Panthers and then for our, our Pirates. Talked with Nick Janowski a little bit earlier tonight. He said Isaj is the guy that's going to Look to score for the Panthers. Yeah, Kurt, uh, Isaj is coming in, uh, averaging 21 points per game, followed by Fritch, 
averaging 19 points per game, and Grayson Sinks averaging 6.5 points per game for the Greendale Panthers. On the Pirates side, Milan Mancilovic is averaging 26 points per game. Nick Janowski with 20 points per game. Isaiah Robinson with 10. Going to be a big size advantage for, for Milan to, to jump center here, and we'll look to the, to the Pirates to exploit that early and often. It's one of the things that's just impossible about the kid is you put a, a smaller, quicker guy on him, he's going to take him down low. You put the bigger, slower guy on him, and he will... Hurt you outside. Yeah. Opening tip off to Robinson. He'll put the Pirates into motion here. Pass deflected and turned over over to, to Greenell. It's Grayson Sinks for the Panthers. Kick to the corner to Matt. Pretty deliberate offense in the at the outset here from Greendale. He's, you know, Greendale has seen us certainly the last three years. Hard to squeak out a W against Pewaukee. Teams tend to try to shorten these games by taking long possessions. The the faster the pace, the, the better the game for the Pirates. And I think that's that's well understood when you have as much firepower as, as we do. From way downtown, in and out a little bit. Rebound by Mchilovich. He's going to take it down the court here. Dish it off to Osterman. Osterman puts it up. No good. You can see the contrast in styles. You get a, a 40-second possession, and then the Pirates on the, the hard push. They're going to find that shooter. We're going to take first open shot that they can find. There's Milan on a, another steal. Fouls on the floor. Block on the floor. Pirates ball underneath. It's like sinks on the foul. Yeah, we, you know, as we, uh, as we get further on into the season and into the playoffs, the Pirates tend to see that type of offense that really tries to slow things down because I think they're – their, their mindset is to try to keep the ball out of the Pirates' hand as much as possible. Luka Momchilovic opens the scoring with the deep one. I'm going to take this opportunity to recognize our officials, Jeff uh, Warzarek, John Furr, and Dean Nemor in the stripes tonight. Always want to thank those high school officials. I'll tell you what, we can't be here without those officials. Luca with it out in the corner, over to his brother. Nick from up top, he's going to sink that wide open. Couple threes on the board. 6-0 lead for the Pirates in the early going. Good D by Nick. Osterman clears it out to Milan. Oh, and drops it in. The, the bench has given him a little bit of grief for that one. They wanted him to, to send it in, but two points nonetheless. 8-0 and a quick timeout for Greendale. During this timeout, I also want to thank our event workers today. Another group of people that we wouldn't be able to have this event without them being here. So thank you, event workers. Craig Copeland on the mic, the voice of the Pirates. We had Gene Minch at the table, along with Dave Foley, Matt Farah. And uh, those guys do a heck of a job working games for us. Takes a village, as they say. <laughs> to run a basketball game. I don't know if they say that, but I just did. <laughs> so here we go. Coming out of the timeout, we got Sinks inbounding to Isaj, who's going to bring it up the floor for the Panthers. Oh. 
Pirates trapping out up on top, looking to cause some commotion. Three, that's Tommy Frisch in the corner. Opening up the scoring for the Panthers. 8-3 Pirates. Robinson into to Milan, back out. Into Luca. Nice little jump hook. Good start for Luka Momchilovic. He stepped in nicely this year. He really has. Outstanding athlete and an incredible two-sport athlete. For those that don't know, Luca is an all-conference volleyball player. Setter. Hey, the Panthers are having a hard time finding any shots. It's a stifling defense. Robinson disrupts that one and nicks off to the races. Finds Milan for three. Off back iron. Double touch. They're saying that one was off of, of Luca. Crowd thinks otherwise. Deflection out of bounds. Stay with the Panthers. You know, a lot is said about the Pirates and the offensive explosiveness, but they get down, especially you look at the effort a kid like Nick Janowski puts in on the defensive end, too. It gets overlooked because you get such an incredible team of offensive weapons. But these guys are in the face of these guards, pressure on every possession and contesting just about every shot. Good cut. Tommy Frisch for two. Luka wide open for three. Hits it. Luka Montilovic. Eight quick ones for Luka. A couple threes and a nice uh, finish in the lane. He's off to a hot start. Now that's the thing. You, you can you can uh, you know plan for you can try to plan for Milan. You can try to plan for Nick, but tell you what, we got other weapons that can can hurt you just as bad. Robinson clears up to Milan. Janowski in the, in the corner. corner. Yeah, oh, man, that's in. Couple threes in the early going for Nick. Good ball movement. Match three comes off. Milan clears it. Great hit ahead oh. to Osterman. Wow, nice ball movement. Oh, oh man. Uh, Jeff, that is just uh, clinical. <laughs> the, the ball movement, great hit ahead pass. The extra pass. And Luka Mamchilovic. Yeah. And a block on the other end. Hey, heck of a... Back of an after the whistle shot by uh, by Sinks. I I think he's wishing the <laughs> whistle hadn't have blown on that one. To Chenko, Carson Osterman, and Wolferin. Oh, up and under by Janowski for two. Got Tyler Chichenko in. Freshman. Tell you what, freshman breaking this lineup is that's something to be said. It's a, it's a key thing. I think Dave said it um, you know earlier this year. One of the big things that was important to him is that by having a freshman up there continuing the culture that's been built. He's going to pass down the, the work ethic and the, the three principles to the kids that are coming behind him. And I'll tell you, Tyler can shoot the ball. He, yeah. uh, he's another one of those guys, if you pay too much attention to some of the, the guys you know, he's going to hurt you with the three ball too. Now, early in the season, he was a guy who got a lot of, he got 
quite a bit of minutes in that Waukee Iowa game um, and I think he was just then learning how fast this varsity game can be especially a game at that level uh, but he's he's starting to settle in a little bit and like I said he'll be he'll be a key part in the future Oh, for three comes off Greendale in the hard push up ahead and that's Tommy Frisch again with the, the layup 21-7 Pirates just about 10 minutes to go in the first half here another thing about Chuchenko is his dad's got the moves I, I've heard about that yeah we have uh, his sister Ava is part of our Palms dance program and we hosted a competition here first weekend of January and they had a founding fathers dance and uh, Mr. Chenko was out there showing off that uh, his daughter's moves come from him and not Mrs. Chenko. <laughs> Robinson and Luka Momchovic back in the game. Great hit ahead by Robinson over to Luca. Back out to Isaiah. Three balls up. Oh, just off the rim. More great ball movement on that hard push. Kicking it back out. Great look at three. Just rim didn't want it. Hey, this is the matchup that Nick Janowski was talking about before the game. He he wanted to lock down Isaj uh, being their leading point getter. He, he was looking forward to that challenge. Greendale trying to find some shot here. Oh, it's going to stay here. Greendale ball. Check deep three comes off. Robinson clears. Pass. Squirts out of bounds off the hands of the Pirates. The Greendale ball. Twenty-one nine Pirates. Just over eight minutes left in the first half. Isaj comes gets off, his gets his own, own rebound. rebound. Good hustle. Wolfer can't corral it. Ball's over to me. Kate Nosterman and Janowski return for the Pirates. And Time out, Greendale. Time out for Greendale. so it was better. So. Coming back here. Time out for the Panthers. Ball comes back into play. It'll be eight minutes left. The, the Pirates have a 12-point lead, 21-9. Got out to a hot start. Luka Momchilovic with 11 points in the first 10 minutes. Some great 
great ball movement, finding his shot, not forcing anything. Greendale to inbound it. Nice trap in the corner. Frisch had nowhere to go with it, but fortunately, looked like he rolled it off of uh, Momchilovic's leg. Oh, there we go, Nick and Janowski and Isaj. Here's that tough defense by the Pirates here. Good hands yeah, by Robinson up front. Steal ahead to Janowski. Another great look ahead. You know, such an unselfish team. Isaj threes off the mark. You know, what you're starting to find a little bit here is that uh, Greendale is trying to force some shots, and they're, they're having to take some deep threes because the defense, is, that's all they're giving them. Absolutely. Pirates have had some good luck getting out, running, hitting that, that hit-ahead pass. That one just off the hands of Osterman. Another, Another turnover. And Nick hits the two. It's, it's for a long two. That initial threat for Nick to shoot in that shot fake um, entices the defender to jump on it. Don't want to give up the three. Then that shot fake finds two. Mattis underneath for a couple for the for Greendale, but right back ahead. Janowski gets and one. Blocking foul on Greendale. Count the basket. Sinks picks up his second foul. Just absolutely cannot relax after a made basket against his team. They're going to get that ball up the court and get a shot off. Janowski, a rare missed free throw there. Pirates get a reload. Looks like we've got a Greendale foul. I'm not sure. No, I don't not know what sure. they did. Did not call a foul. Oh. Nice little lob over the top. 29-11 was 6.40 to go in the first half. And the Pirates are making it pretty difficult here for the Panthers. Let's hear from our friends at Culver's. To everyone who loves great food, let us make you a meal the Wisconsin way. We cook each butter burger to order for you and the people you love, so it's the best part of your day. The best. The best. And every creamy scoop of fresh frozen custard, pure happiness. Pure happiness. Pure happiness. Because where Culver's comes from, and the heart of America's Dairyland. Our love. Our love for fresh food is as strong as our love for all of you. <laughs> from Wisconsin with love. Welcome, Welcome to Delicious. delicious. Yeah. All right, we're back here. Greendale inbounds. Having a hard time getting past in the backcourt. There's yeah. a 10 count. 10 second count. Caden Osterman and Isaiah Robinson giving it everything in the front court, causing that 10 second count. Back to that Culver's commercial. I want to give a shout out to Kyle Soderstrom. He's the owner of Culver's over on Grandview, south side of 94. Proud sponsor of Pewaukee Athletics. Shot by Luka Momsilovic, just off the mark, rebound by Greendale. Turnover, Luka clears it out ahead, over to Milan. Good ball moving again, Robinson over to Osterman. 
The three is up and good. No secret the way this team can shoot the three, but when you're getting the ball ahead and passing as well as the Pirates do, there's very little you can do about it. Good find underneath. Matt Paul for that too. Janowski for three. I think the boys are trying to keep up the girls last Friday night. 19 threes for the Varsity Pirate girls. I think the boys, uh, the boys must have read about that. They're uh, maybe looking to match it. Yeah, nine different shooters hitting three for the girls. Good find underneath overlay. Off to Milan. Hits ahead to Luca. Oh, offensive. Luca picks up his first foul. Dawson Farr into the game for his first appearance. Another guy got some, some key minutes and I think even a couple of starts early in the, the season. Yeah. Meaningful minutes that you know will pay off down the down the stretch when you need somebody coming off the bench. Do the right thing. Screen and roll action with Janowski and Momchilovich. Oh, Nick's, <laughs> Nick's three's <laughs> off back rim. He, he was surprised that one went in. And Momchilovich with the steal. Oh, it does have to Dawson. And uh, Dawson almost got jumped on there. Yeah, Brandon Harper went up and over him. Going back to that last possession, you get Milan and Nick in a screen and roll action in a high school basketball game, especially as we get into some of these more competitive, tight games headed into the playoffs. It's, it's darn near impossible to, to guard. They are such versatile scorers, both of them inside out, full bag. Right on cue, there's Milan with a fall away. Forty thirteen Pirates. Good ball movement by Greendale. Box out by Osterman, taps it over to Milan on the hard push. Oh, Milan pulls up. Wolfer clears it. Uh, Nick liked that one. Right on target. Nick Janowski, one of the top D1 recruits in his class in the state of Wisconsin. Lots of offers on the table. Nothing, uh, nothing been decided. His teammate Milan Momchilovich, Iowa State, Iowa State commit, and uh, Iowa State. I tell you what, they'd love to have. Nick Janowski joining Milan that following year. I know uh, coach there is, is going hard after after Nick as well. Dawson Farr on the post up, kicks it over to Osterman. Three is good. We're gonna have to check in at halftime and see how these Pirates are tracking on that three point number. See how they're keeping up with the, with the girls. <laughs>
Carson Osterman back in the game. Another one that can just fill it from three. And he will shoot a deep one. Great oh, nice pass well. by Janowski. Oh. Wolfer trying to find trying to find Osterman in the corner. Coach Burkamper wanted him to, to finish that one. Oh. Osterman with the steal over to Milan. Sinks clears it for the Panthers. Oh. Good hustle by Dawson. He just got a little bit too much of that arm. Panthers have been stuck on 13 for a bit here. The, the Pirate defense has not let up one bit. Even with the substitutions. Contested threes off. Janowski clears it. Head to Wolfer. Corner three is good. 46-13 Pirates. Now the Pirates get the turnover. They get the ball and they just run. And it's hard for that defense to get back and get anything settled. And then with, combine that with the ball movement ability that Pewaukee has. That's hard. That's hard to stop. Tuchenko and Robinson back in, replacing Momchilovic and Janowski. Deep He's three. up and good. Kazmier's out. Robinson threes oh, up and that's good. It. This is a three-point barrage. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I understand Greendale, the only shots, the only looks that they're getting is from deep three. But I'll tell you what, you don't want to get into a three-point battle with the Pirates. Oh. Isage, off long. Osterman oh, clears it. Oh, nice Great dish. Pass. Great pass by Osterman to Farah on the finish. Three in the corners up and good. Mason Reige? Reige. Mason Reige for three there. I'll tell you what, Kurt, we're down to th under 30 seconds left in the first half already. This has been a fast first half. Moving quickly, there's Osterman up for three. It comes off. So Eli Wolfer seems to be in on every offensive rebound opportunity. Fans might have uh, got him there with the fake countdown. <laughs> oh, Student section's alive after all over Carson, there. Carson, get out of here! Good. Um, we will, holy we will have to take a look at it. Proven to be a tough, tough, tough out for uh, for Greendale. Yeah, that was um, that was a three-point shooting barrage here. We're gonna get get the stats here, um, but just an amazing, amazing you know group of three-point shooters. And really on both ends of the court for the Pirates, they are they're locking them down on defense, and then they're getting those takeaways, those steals. And uh, Greendale just can't keep up. No doubt. Here we are, Jeff. Looks like Nick Janowski leading the, the Pirate Attack 20 at halftime. And if, if ever there was a quiet 20, it's just so efficient. Eight and nine shooting for Nick. Wow. 
um, missed the one three. Yeah. <laughs> um, really is is what it came down. Luca got off to the hot start. Um, he's got 11 for the Pirates. Milan has nine. Osterman six to lead the charge. Let's get a look at that that three point shooting count. See how they're doing. The the goal here that I think they're looking to do is the the girls put up 19 threes last last week, and I I think that's that's in danger here. We're looking at 12 threes in the first in the half. First half for the Pewaukee Pirates, um, shooting 68 percent from the field, yeah. and we are uh, you know 57 percent from three. That's incredible. What a showing in that first half. For you listeners out there, uh, we understand that we have a little bit of a, a time difference here between our announcing and the actual play. So we're, you know, this is our first broadcast. This is our first go at it. So we're still working kinks out and uh, trying to get this right. But, uh, but hopefully this is a great addition. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, I'm looking forward to this continuing to go and grow for Pewaukee Athletics. So we'll, we'll get this straightened out, but just we understand that there is a little bit of a, a delay. So we're going to work to get that, that that kink ironed out. I think that means we just need to be a little bit more uh, more patient in our excitement. But this three-point <laughs> shooting barrage, unreal. So the Pirates have 12 at the first half, at the, fir at the halfway mark. And the girls, 19 is the number to beat. That's what you're. That's what you're saying, Kurt. So we'll see. Uh, you know, and, and really, we'll see how much. You know, I'm, I'm sure our starters will be back on the floor to start off the second half. But then we'll have some of those uh, deeper bench players. But I'll tell you what, those deeper bench players can also hit the three. Carson no Osterman and and Tachenko and those and that crew. They they can also hit the three. Hey, I got a special treat for you, Jeff. You mentioned that dance performance from those uh, Palms dads. Um, little birdies.
those. I'll tell you what, those founding fathers can really bust a move. Cut some rug. Yeah, that was the Pewaukee Palms Dance Dads last weekend at the um, at the break when their uh, girls were <laughs> were performing. So, including Pirate Tyler Tuchenko's dad, Dave, was in the the first row. A little bit of sword play there. Let's take a look at those shooting stats from the from the first half. I mean, this this is not. Not common by any <laughs> any stretch of the imagination. 68% from the, the field, 57% from three, um, 36 for, for Greendale and 23. Not a whole lot of free throws going on, according to our official stats here. But the, the three-point shooting has certainly been on display. And like Jeff said, we'll track it. You know, the uh, that, that number 19 that the girls hit last weekend uh, or last uh, Friday is definitely – in danger here 12 in the first half seven to tie eight to win here in the second half but <laughs> a, a, just an amazing shooting exhibition for the the pirates yeah speaking of the girls uh they had an outstanding win last friday night when we hosted new berlin west the vikings came into pirate territory trying to take out the pirates both teams were undefeated in the conference Pirates are currently ranked number two in the state, and entering that game, New Berlin West was ranked seventh or eighth. And I'll tell you what, uh, the the Vikings have a, a tough opponent in uh, Megan Schultz for the Pirates. She's about six three, six four, and in a tough matchup when we don't have a single girl that's over that hits the six. There's no six in the height column, but. They are fast, they are lethal shooters, and I, it, they just proved to be too much for the Vikings. Ended up by winning, winning what was it, 24, 23 points? Going uh, away. Going yeah, away. Girl, girls are, they're tough. They have, uh, I think they're 12-1 and one right now on the season. Their one loss coming to a two-point loss to Kettle Moraine, the defending D1 state champs. They took on Green Bay Notre Dame in the first game of the season which was a rematch of the state final game last year, and the Pewaukee girls outlasted Green Bay uh, Notre Dame for the victory. Um, but Green Bay still remains ranked number one, which really, it doesn't matter. You know, that, that little number by your by your name, by your school name, I've ne like Carol Lawson just said on Twitter, I've never seen that little number score any points. <laughs> That's not what you're going after, but I'll tell you what, the girls are having a great season. They're fun to watch. Deadly shooters, fast up and down the court. They are next in action, hosting Greendale this Friday here at Pewaukee High School Gymnasium, and uh, should be another another good opportunity. The boys don't play, so it'll be a good opportunity to come out and watch the Lady Pirates take on another conference opponent mentioned that the boys are not playing on Friday that's because they're traveling up to Prescott Wisconsin this weekend they will be taking on Totino Grace out of Minnesota one of the top ranked teams in the state of Minnesota in a border battle showcase at Prescott High School uh, that'll be uh, I think a key match I think they play at six o'clock on Saturday um, so while the boys are out of town our girls will be hosting on Friday night. So come on out and watch the girls. Speaking of other pirate action, I do want to plug awesome wrestling dual meet tomorrow night here at Pewaukee High School. Pewaukee Pirates will take on the New Berlin United Co-op Wrestling Team to decide the conference title for the Woodland West. Uh, big duel. Should be a lot of fun, a lot of action. Last year, the New Berlin United knocked off Pewaukee to win the conference only the second time in the last 16 years that Pewaukee has not won the conference in wrestling. They have won 108 duels out of a possible, I believe, 110 since joining the conference. So Pewaukee has dominated the conference. They're going to put it on the line, on the mat, tomorrow night against New Berlin. That's awesome. Another wildly successful program with the Ed Kurth and the wrestling group here at Pewaukee. Got a lot of good things brewing here, Jeff, that's for sure. All right, second half action here, 54-19 to, to open the half. 
Oh, there's a Janowski steal. Janowski on the steal right in the passing lane. Ahead for the finish. Both teams have their starting lineup back on the floor to start the second half. Momchilovic to Momchilovic. A little brotherly love there. Big brother finds little brother for the easy one. Pirates doing a good job in the early going here, getting in these passing lanes, causing a couple of steals, leading to easy baskets. It's a great closeout by Luca, forcing the turnover, shuffling the feet. The effort to get out there, get a high hand up, is what causes Greendale to, to travel there and turn it over. Robinson over to Janowski. That's that screen and roll action into Momchilovic for two. That, you know, that is something that, that he's evolved with the strength. You saw that guy just bounce off of him. Muran's put on quite a bit of muscle and um, just shed the defender with the easy finish. 60-19 here, early going in the second half. Grayson Sinks tries a three ball, no good. Greendale gets the offensive rebound, passes it back out. Take Greendale, they just can't get anybody inside that three point, but Frisch with a three ball. Frisch gets one to go. Nick in the post, oh, out to Luca. Another three on the board. Three right back at him. Brzezinski hits it for the Panthers. Isaiah, nice pass into Momchilovic. More great ball movement. There's Luka. Luka coming out hot, just like he did the first half. This is a, a mere image of the first half. Um, but Luka starting off with a couple of couple of big ones. How many threes is that so far in the second half now? Is that that's two? Luka with 14 total from on it. Frisch again. Oh, Frisch. Frisch coming out with a hot hand for Greendale. Tell you what, that can be enticing though. You don't want to get into a shootout with these guys. There's Luca again. Oh, finally one comes off. Pirates doing a great job getting penetration and, and throwing it into the corner, moving the ball one more time, and there's an open three there. Turnover by the, the Panthers. Carson Osterman and Eli Wolfer check into for the Pirates. For the Panthers, number zero, Colin Cramp and Matt Paul in for the Panthers. Isaiah Robinson will bring it up the court. Dribble handoff over to Nick. Three's up. That one's off back iron. Cramp clears it for the Panthers. Isaj, turn around. Wolfer clears it up to Robinson. Hit ahead to Carson Osterman. Carson down under for Luca. Luca passes it out. Janowski step back. Good patience by the Pirates. And oh. Another backdoor cut by Nick. Sorry, that's that ball movement again. That is so hard to stop. And Greendale extending that ball pressure to, to protect against the, the three-point shot. And the Pirates exploiting it, taking it back door. Fresh tries again. Tell you, Frisch isn't 
isn't shy to put it up right now. Excellent box out by Carson Osterman. He's not afraid to mix it up down there in the land of the Giants. Well, did a great has. job holding it. Carson kind of has to. He's the youngest of, what, five? <laughs> I mean, he's got to – he can't be afraid to mix it up just to get that last helping of mashed potatoes. That's, you know what I'm that, talking about? That's got to be where it, where, it, <laughs> where it comes from. Milan back to Wolfer. Carson took a, took an extra step there. Sixty-eight twenty-eight Pirates comfortably in the lead. Thirteen minutes left in the second half here. Clock does run at a thirty-five point lead, which we're at right now, but under nine minutes in case you're you're wondering on that. Oh, Dar Dawson, yep. Had a trailer coming up underneath. Carson, hey, Carson hit that deep three to end the first half, and he wasn't afraid to pull up there from way up there. Again. Nice hustle by Dawson, far off. Far Look at Dawson on the, over the floor. floor. Causing a held ball. Great action underneath. Wolfer and Farah both all over the, the offensive glass there, keeping the ball alive. Milan for three, and it's down. Unofficially, 15? 15, I believe. Panthers inside. Comes off. Luca clears it. Faro from the corner is up. No good. Panthers underneath. Three pointers up and good. Kazmir check again. Seventy one thirty one Pirates here. Oh. Eli posting up. Eli with the right idea with the cut to cut to the hoop. Greendale there to poke it free. Ball knocked out of bounds by Osterman. Pirates subbing in and uh, Owen Hake into the lineup. I believe this is his first time on the floor coming back from, uh, from an injury. Hake, Tachenko, and Janowski back in there. Okay, Owen, is, Owen Hake, number one for the Pirates. He's a guy that uh, can really shoot it. He's a great shooter. Uh, I'm sure he's excited to be back on the floor. He's been waiting for this. Absolutely. Another one of those guys, if uh, you're not careful, they'll sneak up on you and, and start hitting those threes. Good defense by Hake. Yep. Uh, foul on Janowski. Matt snuck in there underneath him. Got a good look. Luke Matz will shoot two. Sinks the first one. And makes good on the second. 
Real quick though, look how quickly the Pirates get the ball back down the court. I mean, they had they had the ball down the court before Greendale could get it back. Tuchenko drilling his first one of the night, getting in on the action. He's that highly touted freshman. Again, a freshman breaking the lineup in this team is that is something to be said about that. Oh, a little bit too much. Put too many hands there for Owen Hake. Robinson and Farah back in the mix for the Pirates. Momchilovic and Janowski take a break. Knight's probably getting close to winding down here. Might see a little bit more action. These games do allow for Coach Burkemper to get the, the group out there. There's Tichenko again. Ooh, that one was right on line, too. And we are now under that nine-minute mark, so the clock will run. Yes, Mircek threes oh, off. Nice. There's Owen Hake. Great oh, look ahead. Sir. Nice pass by Robinson. Owen Hake with the finish. All night long, Pirates looking ahead, hitting the open man. Very unselfish play. Great look by Robinson. Great finish by Hake. So you feel feel good for Owen there. That uh, he's been waiting a long time to get back on the floor and uh, to get his first bucket. Got to feel good for Owen. Jensen Wallace in the game for the Pirates. Owen. Tachenko with the big rebound. Great crash by Tachenko. Oh. Panthers corral it. And uh, Brzezinski, Brzezinski for a three ball. Pirates 76, Panthers 36, seven and a half to go. Tachenko working down underneath and gets it. Great move by the freshman. Good patience, didn't hurry the shot, going to his left, came back with it. Nice little jump hook to, to finish it. Pass underneath. Wolford clears it. Hey, kid, ahead to Farah. Oh, Dawson just lost his handle there. Cramp picks up the steal for the Panthers. 6.40 to go. Pirates comfortably in the lead, 78-36. We are in that running clock territory, so the game will move pretty quick at this point. Once again, I want to welcome all our all our listeners out there for the maiden voyage of Pewaukee Broadcasting. I am Jeff Barons, Athletic Director Jeff Barons with Kurt Spitzner here. Um, yeah, excited about this opportunity. Yeah, it's been fun. Good game to break it in here. We'll get this timing locked in. Make sure we're not uh, spoiling anything. Fortunately, tonight with the, the 42 point lead. We're not going to be calling a game winner too, too early or anything. Osterman on the hard push. Tristan Fry out there. And Drew Dominitz. Drew Dominitz also back on the floor here, or on the floor for the Pirates. Oshosh. Oshosh Mather. Jensen Wallace inside off back iron. Fry picks it up. Good battle. 
Tristan Fry snuck in there for the rebound, followed by the Panthers. Dominance to pass it in. He passes it into Wallace. Wallace takes it out to the top of the key. Back down to Drew Dominance. Can't connect down below. Tell you what, Victor Cruz, number 21, is not afraid to get his shots since he's come in. Isn't he a New York Giants receiver, Jeff? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh, Victor Cruz. Wallace on the attack. Over to Osterman. Justin nice. Fry will try a three off that nice, iron. Yeah, nice good board by Domnitz. Gets it back. Oshosh, Jensen. Carson around the corner for three. Carson Osterman. Unofficially, I think we're at 16. That that girl's uh, 2023 house record is still intact, but with 340 left. Carson committing that foul to get his teammate Owen Hake into the game. And uh, Pewaukee calls a timeout. Go to timeout. I want to remind everyone that uh, the girls are back in action here at Pewaukee High School on Friday night as they take on Greendale Panthers. The Pewaukee wrestling team again it will be here tomorrow night on Wednesday to take on the New Berlin United wrestling team conference championship on the line for the Pirates. The boys basketball team will be back in action next Tuesday at home as they take on New Berlin Eisenhower. Always a, a game that is circled on the calendar for both programs. A little rival reaction there. Um, that's when our, our teams will be back on the home court. Back at it here at 340 left. Pirates comfortably ahead, 81-36. Some good minutes here for um, some of the rotation uh, players at Fry, Hake, Dominance. Also, if you're looking Wallace for... Wallace and Mathur. Sorry about that, Jeff. No problem. If you're looking for games to circle on the calendar, uh, the boys here will be taking on Wisconsin Lutheran on February 3rd here in Pewaukee. Our girls will be at Wisconsin Lutheran. Um, that'll be... Division two ranked number one Pewaukee against Division two ranked number two Wisconsin Lutheran. Pewaukee won the first meeting by eight. Owen Hake for three. And uh, tickets for that game are only going to be sold online. They're on sale right now. There will be no cash admission that game. So if you're intending on coming to that game, which you'll probably be one of 1,200, 1,300 here in the gym. Uh, Buy your tickets online at ticketspicket.com and search for Pewaukee tickets. That is as good of a high school basketball game as you'll find. Yeah, the, last year the atmosphere for that game was unreal. Conference rivals. Got top players on both sides. And kids that just play basketball the right way, too. It's, uh, it's great stuff. Yep. Both free throws down for Greendale. Minute 50 to go. Pirates 84, Panthers 37. Pirates bringing up the court. Owen Hake. Owen Hake. Another three. Corner 18. I think they're at 18. Once Ooh. again, the, the count that we're keeping, the girls hit 19 threes last Friday. The boys right now are at 18. Unofficially, before we sign off, we'll get the uh, the official yes. count, but I, I think they're at 18. 
Just a reminder, clock is running. Here we are at a minute left. Kick underneath. Greendale kids are, have played hard throughout. There's been uh, no real let up here even as it's gotten a little bit away from them, certainly here in the second half. I arcing three balls off. Ake up to Lewis. Well, as we uh, as we draw a close here, draw to a close, Kurt. I wanna wanna thank you for all the work that you've done getting this broadcast business off the ground. Been a great great lead, great help. Um, so thanks, buddy. I I appreciate it. Absolutely, it's been it's been fun. And uh, I said it earlier, if there's any kids or even adults out there in the community that are interested in uh, chipping in, getting involved in it, let us know. Um, and uh, we'll certainly uh, you know, be there to help. Yeah, well, that's a final here at Pewaukee High School. The Pirates 87, the Panthers 42. That puts uh, Greendale at an overall record of 8-5, and 1-4 and four in the Woodland West. Pewaukee moves to 8-2, 4-1 and, two, four and one in the conference. Again, Kurt, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on board this maiden voyage. And uh, I guess we're signing off, buddy. Uh, this, has been, this has been fun. We'll do it again. Game plan is we're going to be back here for Waukesha South yeah. on February 4th. It should be a good non-conference game. Um, we'll be back here for that one. And Warriors wear red nights. Warriors wear red nights. So if you're not in the gym wearing red, you can wear red at home and listen to uh, to Jeff and I. <laughs> All right, right. <laughs>